What is this strange ball thing? What is this? Is this some sort of wizardry? Oh, you want Oko-san to talk into it, do you? What do you want Oko-san to talk about? The one true pudding? No? Oh, you want Oko-san to talk about the time that he was given mail? Ah, yes. Oko-san got mail one time. It was filled with fantastic mail for El Pudding Diablo. But Oko-san was also given a book. It was a very strange book. I have it right here. Even though Magpie took it, I found it again. Omelette du fromage. C'est à le milieu, livre les tours les temps. Mais ensuite, Magpie le free. Excuse me, Oko-san must go to the bathroom. Buenos dias! Yo soy el Purín Diablo! So, you wish to hear about my last mission, do you? Well, me and my friends, my comrades in arms, were notified by that rapscallion Percy that various fighters were disappearing. And luckily, I had a match coming up anyway. So we went to the ring, to the legendary squared circle, where El Pudin Diablo works his craft. My match was against that most honorable opponent, Crandall Disaster who is filled with strength and honor. I fought him gloriously, and it was a close match. He defeated me, but it was a defeat with honor, and one day I will surpass him. I didn't see much of what my comrades in arms were doing, but I think it involved some sort of mechanical man. After the match, we found under the ring there was some sort of mad medicine man, and with him was Stooby the Stomper, that most dishonorable cur. Stooby wished to fight me before his rematch, and had gotten some improvements, apparently. He'd been using illegal enhancements of some kind. It took us much effort, and using one of the magic beans... But we defeated Stooby, and we defeated the mad scientist, and thus we restored honor to the ring. And that is the most recent story of one of my recent adventures. I'm sure that we will have more adventures to come, me and my glorious comrades. Greetings and salutations, I'm the Raven, this is the Bastard Smalls. And I'm going to go and have a fun one today. But first, I'll let them introduce themselves in the corresponding order in which they appear in the Discord chat. Sirat. Oh, I was That's actually you. waiting for a name <laughs> there. Hello, <laughs> I am Sirat, and I am playing Shifra Sleepwell, Total Coward, and Inkeeper. Wanna be. Hey, I am at the top now because I put my name in the Discord call. Uh, I'm I'm Aram Nazlo. I mean Layla M. I rebranded. Hi, and I'm still playing Aram Nazlo, and I feel like I missed some things. Well, how the hell there? I'm on the home as Lady Mage in the real world, but here you can call me Magpie. Hunter Gloom Soccer, and I can't wait to get behind the wheel of one of these babies. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Hello. I... Go ahead. I'm J.K. Lantern, and I am playing everybody's favorite bird. I am Okasan, priest of the one true pudding, and definitely not anything else. <laughs> I am Star. I play Yuki. I am silly foxy beep who likes to eat. Stop trying to eat Whisper! 
I mean, right now I got cookies, so I'm good. Nom, nom, nom. Who, who's Whisper? I wasn't in the last one. Oh, no, this is uh, 8.5. It was a one-on-one -on -one with me and Raven. Oh, okay. So nobody else was in it but me. <laughs> I, I see. General. And it was... It was, and a, it was cute. It was cute, adorable, and we had had water just doing that raptor thing from Jurassic World. I hate those damn birds. So a quick little wrap, ah, ah. a quick little wrap up Sorry. from the last session. Oh, Cassandra, or El Pony Diablo, reports his findings back to Percy. He was rather troubled. It's also that uh, apparently the Gear Hat got alerted to this as well. So it's uh, that illegal fighting ring is now shut down because the Gear Hat, no, well, they're fully legal. They came in, checked the, basically tore that place apart, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. A report did come back. Oh, maze. Huh? Uh, a, a message was probably pa passed to you from Magpie because he doesn't understand the whole doobie what's it of uh, the Gearheart Church's McGovern's. It's a case of what they were trying to do in that uh, mad lab was a bastardized version of a ritual for transferring souls to a clockwork body. So, oh. Aram Naze is transferring a soul into the gear heart? No, this, this is what the report is telling you. That, that's what we found last time, kind of. What happened was, we had to investigate this ring while you were helping out Snark in the workshop again, and what happened is they were putting, like, the souls of these fighters that Okasan had faced or had won these matches into these weird bodies that were kind of dark and creepy and made animals run away screaming into the night. And, um... They Okasan's never been in a match in his life. What are you talking about? Okasan's not a wrestler. <laughs> oh, El Pudding Diablo. Sorry, you two look like brothers. <laughs> you, you look alike. You, you're a celebrity look alike thing, but... Yeah, basically, they were doing some funky necromancy stuff with robots, and that's kind of from this church called the Broken Heart, and it kind of looks like your church's symbol, only all busted up. So maybe you can, oh. like, like, see what the hell's going on. Maybe you know a little bit more. I uh, mean, you know this machine stuff better than I do. I'm amazed. For status, yeah. for status huh? you, you know that... The ritual to transfer the soul transfers a living soul from a living body. But the report mm -hmm. says we're transferring dead souls. It's also oh. that the Church of the Broken Heart, or the Breakaway Cult, the Gear Heart and the Broken Heart don't see eye to eye. Never mm -hmm. have. This is a separation. Um... <sighs> Well, I I know usually souls that are being transferred are supposed to be alive, and the, the Gear Heart and the Broken Heart were never they uh, they, they didn't get along very well. Uh, but we sort of they sort of did similar things, so uh, I I can see what I'll see what I can do. With that. That was a month ago. Since then, Magpie has had met up with uh, Antil Snark. For whatever reason, they agreed to help out one another because his team has been otherwise busy and threatened to kill him if he ever brought up going to that place again. He, he, is explain, he, he explained that they had to go to Staracus to steal a war machine from either a tribe of desert gnomes or dust goblins. So you need our help because your team is busy. Is that right, Anhill? 
Yes, yes, very much. Chinese dealing with some rowdy unicorns and... Uh, I'm going to be honest, Sonorian war machines don't sound like a good mix anyway. Well, Snorri first to run over, run over me if I ever don't, if I come near him in the course of a week. But it's been, uh, it's been so long and he's probably drunk so much, he's probably forgotten that by now, so I just need to come back alive. Well, you've been real nice to Aramaeus, and even though we did kind of bicker, I'm more mad at the big boss than you, which is... You were kind of unfortunately a convenient target, and I apologize. So I could talk to the rest of the team. It might take a little bit of convincing for Chef Ross, because he don't like adventuring anyway, and you involved is going to piss him off more. But I think we can help you out. Again, that was four weeks ago. Come back to the present. You're on the ship. You have spent most of those four weeks on an airship. It's been all been paid for. You may be doing a few duties along the along along the way, Almeas and until I've been helping keep in maintenance on the ship. Cliff, Cliff Ross in in the uh, kitchen. In the kitchen. Getting Okasan out of the pudding. Yes. <laughs> it's delicious. Okasan, get out of the pudding! I'm trying to read this thing on the war machine. Freaking hell. And and whatever whatever you do over the course of those weeks, it's coming to an end as Starakas is just on the horizon of the of the abyss below at the void. So Antil's called you all together in one of your hall, halls. This place, ha this ship has. All right, so how about you lots? Most of you don't like me, I don't like you. Some of you do, I question your choice, but I thank you for your choice of sit for helping me out and because of reasons. He's got a big bag next to him and he starts putting things out. Right, as a, as per agreement, Magpie, your upgrady bow. Well. Before hmm. I just look like a bow, now it looks all fancy. Is she picking up like the magic and attunement that's going with it? Yeah. It looks like it's actually grown out. She gives it a quick test. Oh, I like this. Yes, this it's... is actually better than what Daddy carved, and Daddy's one of the best makers of a boat in the town. Two. She takes a deep breath. Whisper. This is my bow, Whisper. Until gives you a questioning look. To Yuki, I give this. What is that instrument anyway? <laughs> he gave. Yuki, he gives you a cornetta. I think that's how you pronounce it. Concertina. Concertina. There we go. He gives you the Revelous <laughs> Concertina. Next thing he pulls out is... He pulls it out, it gives it one look. He gives one look at Okasan. He sighs and... This is for the bird brain. Passes him a belt of giant strength. Oh, this belt is shiny. Very shiny. It is like a it's champ. The... It's the it's belt like a... of distraction. Ooh. Don't look so... into it. <laughs> I, I look into it. He is now doing. He now he's now doing the dance of greeting for about five minutes. He... <laughs> Next thing uh, Antil does is pull out a staff of power and looks around. Terror isn't here. Give it him lighter. And for our mayor, she pulls out an amulet that's in the form of numerous gears all connected together. And what it is for you, it is a. a Enamelate of the devout plus two. 
the information for this for this is is a little too no, I don't want to leave that. Is can be found here. All right. Thank you. He then turns to Jeff Ross. He grins. Jeff Ross is in the galley. He he refuses to talk to Snark at all. Ah, uh, he he looks to where he expected Jeff Ross to be, and he's not there. He pulls out a chicken, a cap that looks like a chicken. <sighs> Who wants to give this to him? I'll do it. He's being a big baby. Puts it on his head. <laughs> Focus on you. Give it to him. This is an amazing hat. What would happen if I wore it? Uh. Nothing, I believe, because it's, it requires attunement. It requires attunement, so nothing would happen immediately. I am fashionable, but clearly I was not meant to be the true bearer of this hat. Clearly, Shifros is meant to be the most fashionable, because he is a fashionable guy. I will oh, be oh. honored to give this to him. I feel I have to follow you with this. <laughs> Anyone else want to go watch the chaos? Time to I go down to, to the galley. Fine, we. Let's all go, go down to the galley. galley. <laughs> Let's all go down to the galley. You see Shifros <laughs> working back in the galley and just muttering under his breath the whole time about traitors, <laughs> kidnapped while he slept. We didn't do freaking that. massive. Freaking massive cat flap stuck in his door so he couldn't get at so they couldn't keep stay out. Question. Yeah. That's happened. Is is Shifros wearing like a hairnet or like a hat while he's working in the galley? He's 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 wearing something to hold his hair in place, yes. Damn it, there goes that joke. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he is a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Sh Shifros, my friend, I come bearing gifts. You you come bearing gifts. Is it return trip home? Even better. You you are going to be the most fashionable chef. The most fashionable chef. Uh, uh -huh. I, I just okay, hear what... the eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> You, you I'm not would... to put too fine a point on it, but I've seen how you dress. What are you considering fashionable? You you will be most attractive to your wife, Noodles. <laughs> to my what now? <laughs> <laughs> to, to your wife, Noodles. Here you go. Here you go. At this point, Okasan jams the chicken head on top of Ship Ross. At, at this point, the magical item automatically attunes to him, and he turns into a chicken. Wow! Well, the the, the colony is holding his hands. What happens? The colony in his hands. As you see it reached out, and so Okasan, I do not think I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Attractive for noodles. <laughs> These are hard chickens. Uh, not in the way we're that you said focus on me there, Yuki, as far as I know. Well, See, you are beautiful now. <laughs> oh, great. If Okasan doesn't want to dance to Chef Ross, I'm out of here. Oh my god. Everybody's er er watching from a distance, like, what just happened and why is it. I didn't know Chef Ross was married. Uh... <laughs> no, he's not actually married. It's a joke because Okasan thinks he can marry people to random things, and he married uh, Chef Ross to Yuki's pet weasel noodles. Oh, I see. The pet weasel she got out of the bag of tricks, so you never know if you're going to see it again. <laughs> she she goes on business trips. It's very normal. 
Also, and... chickens don't exactly have the ability to alter their facial structure to express displeasure. <laughs> but you can you tell. You might be able to tell that the chicken standing in front of Okosan is very displeased with this current turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. I think it's the angry squawking. Fine, I'll make this better. And then she pulls out her lyre and starts playing the chicken dance. <laughs> <laughs> I think you made it worse. Oh. You ah, I oh, must do my God. dance of chickens now. Reacting to this whole thing. It's not. It's not going to follow you. You are so weird. Uh, Snark, I think your thing worked a little too well. Yes! <laughs> what the hell? Why did you give freaking Chip Ross a chicken hat that turns him into a chicken? He's got his talent for surviving, so what better to improve on that talent? Oh, for the love of... How do we turn it off? Oh, Okasan. You find your hand drawing me... <laughs> Being drawn into your bag of holding. Hello, what have we here? You pull out the book. Oh no, as if we didn't have enough chaos. <laughs> Stark, you got a spare book I can smack Okasan with? I think we're gonna need it. Do the page. Dance du pole. You discover the first page you read has gone. It has disappeared. Oh. Huh. You got a new set of runes. They somehow force your way into your brain to, to be pronounced. Now, to you, nothing has changed. To everyone else, you are now this scrawny, greed scaled kobold that seems awfully familiar. Uh... Well, for those who have been there for certain encounters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is this a good or a bad thing? Oi, you lot! It... okay? Uh... What are you looking at? I have no idea what accent this is. <laughs> Cockney. I, I don't think it is. <laughs> Chicken Chip Ross is just rolling around on the floor <laughs> doing as close to a laugh as he can with the squad. Uh, Snark? This, this just got worse. Is, 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 does anyone know want to like transform real quick or what? What is happening? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Between the dang book and the dang hat, I think we just went crazy. Okasan Sentai. Uh, <clears throat> Stupid. Uh, Snar <laughs> pokes his head around the door and says, "He sighs. Okay, just pull the hat off this stupid halfling." And as where is Okasan? Technically, Hello. turned into that cobalt down there. Aaron just points at him. That's... He read that dang book again, I thought I got rid of it, and it ended up in his bag of holding again somehow. That's pre-alchemy stooby. What? I that's want some the... fish and chips. Uh, no, that's Okasan in Stubi's body, I get. What the hell? How do we change him back? Maybe we hit the pin with the book like we did last time? What she said. Okay, hand me the book, uh, Oka Stooby. Smack! Do I have a bird in front of me, or am I just sitting here like an idiot? <laughs> you have, you have an, uh, a Stooby that's rubbing the back of his head going, ow! God damn it! That Why do you hit me like that? Because <laughs> last time it turned you back into a Luma! <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a Luma! No, you're not! Look in a mirror, dude! Erinne is just freaking oh. staring oh. at all of this, not looking Oko away, Sto stroking his Oko tail, Stoobie. their tail. Oko Stooby looks into a reflective surface, and he sees a Luma! I must do me, gra me dance of greeting, I must! This is gonna be funny as hell to watch! 
You have Oko Stubby oh, performs the you. dance of greeting. You have never seen a cobalt shake their ass at someone before. <laughs> you have now. The question is, do you feel your life has been enriched or not? Hey, yeah, it's still the same, but hey, at least I can scratch it off a bucket list if I had one. For, for Layla, yes. For Arab Nays, hell no. <laughs> Chicken Shift Ross has redoubled in laughter. <laughs> Yuki's still playing the chicken dance on her lyre. Of course, we have a soundtrack. <laughs> huh? We Stop. have a soundtrack. Ah! Aaron, is, Aaron is on the ground in a fetal position. <laughs> People are turning into other things. A chicken is laughing. One is mobile to Okusan's screaming dance. What? I don't. Magpie goes to. Even done anything. <laughs> she goes to Aramis it's like it's okay, it's okay. It's like a thing we can fix like immediately because we just take the head off. It's just right now. This is kind of. We'll figure out what to do with Okasan. I don't know what's going on. I... Okay. It's okay. This is more silly than dangerous. Um, very weird. Oh. You... Swear, every time we start an adventure, some random crap happens. We all end up dying on the floor. You hear whistling, <laughs> whistling over the seats into Gom. Docking at Starrakis Air Airport in within the hour. Those go going, going shoreside. Please grab, grab their belongings and get off. Oh. I better bring me book. I must. <laughs> <laughs> Magpie is like holding the book and shoves it back into her like bag of paperwork. Can I ask everyone to make a perception roll? <laughs> oh boy! You're not the DM. Are you? Can you do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. If it, if it's okay. not, if he's doing something. Eh. Okay. Uh, I got total perception. Give me a second. Total perception is 14 plus 20, unnatural 20. Oh god, I did. Wow, okay, it's more, it's everyone, I rolled terribly, so, you know. Basically, as soon as that announcement happened, you saw the chicken look up in fear and run and go dive inside a cabinet and close the door behind him. Chef Ross! <laughs> I thought it out. <laughs> so we skip ahead about an hour after some big roar getting Shifros out of the cabinet, off somehow tracked down and the hat off his head and back into halfling status. And keeping the hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we can't put it on you anymore unless you want us to. How are we going to turn the freaking bird back into a bird? Is magic that they do not understand. They do not know what is up with food. You know, maybe we try putting the chicken hat on him since he's not a bird anymore. Yeah, I do not think it would work. This seems Eternal. like something you have to have practice with or spend time with. And I have feeling that someone was hiding this in the room. I don't think it was Snark because he saw how annoying that book was. I meant my hat. Hmm. If you look inside, inside on the line, he says, Med proudly by until Snark suck it to you, loser. <laughs> Speaking of it, Snark shows up and he's. All right, all right, we need to get. We got that full of cares out of the way. I've got s supplies to pass out for everyone, and we got. When we get down to the settlements, we need to find either one or two people. I got business to attend to first, so I'm going to leave it to you lot to find them. One is a old lady, only possibly witchy type, goes by the Duchess. 
The other is he, he sort of visibly groans. It's a fucking insane kobold. You you know when you see him, he's mixed with gold and yellow sort of sandy colour. He's covered in metal rubbish and so sort of like holding a strange staff with a candelabra, one of those candlestick things attached to the top of it. Is, you, you said, Air, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Air, Air, um, is Aramis in the room for this conversation? Is he talking to all of us? He's speaking to mm -hmm. all of you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Aramis just lo looks at Ogosan or Ogos Doobie and is like, "I think we already have an insane kobold." <laughs> Mac guys looking at Aramis and agreeing completely. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what it's like to be a kobold. What, why are you like... looking at me? No reason. No reason. No! Still were there, Okasan. You need to get I'm them. I've not noticed you might be a tiny bit shorter today. <laughs> or taller. What you need to do is somehow convince either these parties to give you the location of the battle of. Wah, 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 wah. It happened a month ago. Apparently, these one tribe of gnomes, one tribe of goblins were in battle when the Howling Moor descended upon them. Okay, out of character, who named this battle? Waluigi? Wah. I just need the quick name. This is what came to mind. Go... I was either going to go with Pac Man or. Actually, I was too busy trying to figure out if you're like supposed to say it like one or wet or it doesn't matter or like it got censored out for some reason. <laughs> Let's it's go the for the battle of the peanuts adults. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just thought Waluigi when I heard that, like, who named this? <laughs> So, yeah, I need you to do that for me, please. So we can get this job done as quickly as possible without anyone just dying. Because I can understand why Snowy didn't want to come back here. I spent a little time here as possible. I have business with the Cobalt. His name is Tim. He's insane. So we should get on with Volker at the moment. The Duchess is another matter. Never done business with them. So, uh, leaving it to you. All right. I guess our first <clears> step <throat> is to figure out where both these parties are and we figure out who's closer and talk to them. Oh, oh yes. He passes out uh, headscarf, headscarf and goggles to everyone else. Magpie puts her on right away. Guessing it gets dusty around here? Sandstorms. Seriously, this place... Like is... I said... Seriously, this place has been blasted apart by magic in the past. It's never really recovered. All right, everyone, keep your heads out of the sand, so to speak. Aaron is like pulls up their turtleneck. <laughs> then, if you have hat of ostrich, I can put it in sand. Magpie is just looking at Shifros with this look of shut and up. We've had enough transformations for one lifetime right now. I don't think we have. When you kidnap Shifros from bed in middle of night to go with Snark, you get cranky Shifros. <laughs> Chef Ross, I asked you five times to go on this mission with us. You five times says, yeah, yeah, later I'll give you information, blah, blah, and you never got back to me. <laughs> drastic time. Call for that, drastic measures. That should have been hint. Uh, I don't take hints, honey. You gotta be direct with me. Oh! Trish, I get it. Uh... And I was just like stares at everyone, probably staring back at them, just like, oh. It's... To be fair, I, I think still don't get it. it. Uh, Aramias, <laughs> I think Sirfus would stick his head in the sand even if he wasn't an ostrich. <laughs> Could someone tell me what ostrich is? 
You know those big birds that kind of try to bite you if you ride on them? Those are the ostriches. Especially, I hate them. Damn. especially what the guild uses instead of horses. Oh, you mean chocobos? <laughs> no, chocobos are better nitrate, I've heard. Well, I have a chocobo as my profile pic. Lantern, <laughs> I fucking swear. <laughs> this is what the third, 300th thing that uh, Lantern has said to make the DM want to murder him. <laughs> IRL. <laughs> staring at the message general chat. Throttled Lantern. The Spanish boss. Despite this point, everyone's geared up. Snark's gone to where well, whatever he's done, going to do, and you basically kicked out of the settlement. It's basically a lot of corrugated iron. You, you've seen some dodgy one down places before in the outer islands, made, made of scrap metal and such like. Like a, like a western, western settlement that's just made out of metal instead of wood. This place is no different. It's got a big, big tall <clears throat> walls around the settlement. It's got the uh, tower which you rolled down, the uh, the elevator which you had to pull the chain to make go. You see numerous settlements. So it looks a bit looks about uh, about a few hundred people here, all dressed similarly to you with the headscarves, headscarves, goggles, but he done up in a way. The way so they sat, they keep the sand out and there is more than a breeze going on putting a no enough sand in the area you, you can basically point out where the uh the local bar is by uh, the uh town center center hall even even though to a chantry of the uh of the gear heart I was looking at it a little run down compared to other chances you've seen before. I think we found our places to look for information. Uh, where? I Can think I... she means big building over there. I, I, I have character, what was the building? We have uh, numerous buildings, a town centre, and a tavern, and where Amaz will probably never want to set foot in, a rather run-down looking chantry church of the Gear Heart. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Okay. We're, we're going... There. In the the run run down church place. Do they worship pudding there? They worship the machine. Wait, isn't this your church, Jeremiah's? Oh. Um. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. I guess we stop in there first. You'd probably be able to get the most information. Lead the way. Magpie, give me an insight roll. Roger that. Let's see. Insight, insight. Uh, seventeen total. I manage if you don't mind. If I, if you don't mind me doing this, go go right ahead. You can so easily read Armaeus if they could. Could dig themselves in the ground and pull it over them, over them, then merely mention the name of the place. You don't like them, do you? Mm -mm. All right, we'll stay out of that building and we'll try the tavern. Everyone good with that? Yes, thank you. Let's keep any ale away from Shifros. We don't need more beer hole incidents. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't ah. think they serve ale here. I, I think they serve moose urine. And you've seen a moose here? Also, ew! There, there's moose over there. 
What's he looking at? He's, so, he's somehow pointing to a bit of fallen metal that looks somewhat like a minotaur. With bigger, with, without horns, but without antlers. I don't think that's an actual moose that needs to go to the bathroom. Well, let's just go in the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Magpie's just, oh my god, he did not gain any intelligence as a cobalt. <laughs> I must agree, the alcohol in there will be very subpar quality. It's almost guaranteed. As long as it's not the church, I'm good. And Tavern's going to have a lot of info, so... And so the uh, the party enters the, uh, the tavern. You hit once again, much, much like last time. Last time hitting the... Hitting, uh, I'll put in Diablo's old, old haunt. Haunt and the uh, illegal fighting ring you hit by the scent of strong, possibly cheap ass ale. Ale, <laughs> smell of bodies, chatter. This whole thing's going yada 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 in the background. <sighs> you, see, wow. you see a lot of people, they've their goggles pulled down. You see numerous races. Races just sitting around tables. There's a there's a big uh, minotaur standing behind the uh, tavern tavern counter. What what's in <laughs> big big pine glasses? What? Do any of you want to stop Okasan from talking? <laughs> Magpie is like, do I let the dumbass talk or do I just? You, you know what? He's now. probably, he's probably better, better equipped than me. So go for it. This is gonna end so poorly. This is gonna end so <clears throat> poorly. <laughs> so what's the dumbass gonna do? Honorable Moose Tavern Keep, a round of ale for me and my friends. The minotaur just cleaning his pint out. Goes. <laughs> We don't do ale, we do beer! A round of beer for me and my friends, Honorable Moose Tavern Keeper! I think wait, wait, I think we don't go to the hall! Uh, minus two of those from that order, please. So you want four beers? Let's... One, two... <laughs> <laughs> This is Lantern counting how many party members we actually have. Six. <laughs> well, five right now. Yep. Yeah, there are five of us plus Snark. Snark's the bounce of so the collection. He's yeah. saying you yeah, want six. three beers. Three beers and a beer for the magic voice in my head? That means about 90% of it. Does Some he... reason it wants to throttle me. <laughs> <laughs> Even the magic voice is smarter than you. <laughs> That'll be fifteen silver. Let's see here. Nice body is this away from the amount of money you've been getting for the past few jobs. You can afford this easy. Yeah, I, I know I can. Um... I'm just trying to remember what the conversion from silver to gold is offhand. I think the one. I I give him three gold pieces. Keep the change, good sir. He gets our three semi fresh glass pint glasses, fills them. You watch, he fills him through the tap. Slowly. He seems to be making sure one is mostly just head. You see that that one's going, <laughs> going, going to you. <laughs> That's my favourite part. He puts him down. He also throws down three packets of... Uh, well, something. So three paper pa packets. Do you check out what they are? Absolutely. Peanuts. 
Oh boy! Our salty beans! I love these! Um... Just water for me and, uh, the little one here. Yeah, hi. <clears throat> That'll be 50 silver each, then. A light. Water is a rare commodity here, ain't it? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily for you, I can afford it. Magpie puts down, like, um... See, 10 to 1, so 5 gold pieces, so 2 would be 100. Uh, she puts an extra gold piece down. Keep the change. He gets out two very dainty glasses, puts it down very carefully, and then pours Thanks out some water. In this case, of the beer glasses, you can tell they're somewhat dirty. These glasses, pristine. Translation, he me and Aramis made the right choice. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I have a couple, couple of pla paper packets for you too. On examination, you discover the pork, right? Pork, uh, pork, pork scratchings. Ooh, she prefer these to peanuts, thank you kindly. Hmm. You yeah. oh, and you know. So, uh. We're looking for a couple of people. A crazy cobalt covered in metal and a duchess of some kind. Would you have happened to see either one of those around here? Crazy cobalt covered in, covered in metal be found in the scrapyard. He's round back. He's barely out of there. The duchess. <laughs> you you just go around to Dane du Duchess's potion, potionarium Round the other other side. She's right there. Don't take all the water in the nose. Don't what in the nose? Don't talk about the water in the nose. I wouldn't anyway. That that's rude, so good to know. Oh wait, we've got the uh cobalt that doesn't have a brain cell. Okay, yeah, thanks for the warning. Thank you. Stride, stop hitting my computer. Cat. <laughs> cat planet, cat planet, cat, cat planet. Lantern did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just uh, sipping on the ale. Sipping on the water, staring at the table. She's just looking around, holding the beer in her hand, not actually drinking. Trying to see, like, is there anybody of interest she can talk to? Ah. Oh, there's just an array of humans, dwarves, more hardy folk, the, the odd more minotaur, half orc here and there. There's some people at Tiefling there in the corner. This has been the uh, the server. <laughs> Nothing. There's just things going on in the, the voice chat. <laughs> RPM is great, folks. You love me, really. <laughs> You see, you see Shifros kind of grimace as he takes the actual first taste of the beer. And you see him just kind of shudder a little bit, catch <clears throat> prestidigitation on the beer, and then drink it and nod his head. <laughs> Meanwhile, Magpie's just enjoying her water and her pork scratchings and just kind of looking around casually. Kind of kicking herself that she forgot that, um... Water would be a rare commodity here, obviously. <laughs> I'll bet this beer would taste better if you if all was a chicken. Aramis slowly stares at 
Oh, Ghost Juby. And Kai is staring right with her. Okay, Sam. Okay, Stubby. Make me a constitution save, please. Is this... Is this a poison save? No. Okay, it's just straight <laughs> constitution? Yes. Uh, okay. No. I smell shenanigans. <laughs> that would be a 23. Oh! You get it in to reach, in, reach into your bag of holding. You resist. Do I, though? Do I really? You reach into the bag of holding. You pull out the book again. <laughs> oh, no. Magpie looks at the bartender. Uh, you may want to stand back. Uh, this is going to be uh, Stupidity 101. I'll put it in the book. You discover not only the, the first page is still missing, but the page that turned you into... Uh, Okasan Stubby, he's also missing. Hmm. This, oh, no. this is the best book Okasan's ever read, it is. Ah, what to do this time? What to do? Um, <laughs> Wait, you, you're, reading, so you're reading right. Oh, uh, absolutely. Okasan is a very literate bird. He's just colorblind. <laughs> He's very entranced by all the articles he feels so in the bottom of his cage. <laughs> yep, exactly. He can swear he's read about Tedman's box about 200 times by now. <sighs> now, for, for you, nothing's changed. For everyone else... Oh, they, no. You turn into that. In what the... in Sam Hill? For those who don't have the visual reference, Okasan has now turned into a what appears to be some kind of goblin, but skinnier and more feral looking. And they turns back around, stuffs their head in their turtleneck again. Man, Boy, this just... beer is delicious. <laughs> That cloud is just face palming at this point. Until it's sort of a ochre, a mix between green and yellow, his skin tone. <laughs> Gob a dust goblin Okasan is now a above fairer shade of green. And the bartender's just looking going What the uh, what a swang doogle! Your friends just turned into a dust goblin. We know, at least we know what kind of goblin he is. We, we, we know, we know, we we know. Oh my God, this weird book. It's a, he's supposed to be a luma, okay? He's supposed to be like a bird. So I, I am a luma, just like that guy's an honorable moose. Uh, I can assure you, that's not a moose. You know, sorry, he, 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 oh, because someone has, like, no brain cells. The thing is, stupid. is that... <clears throat> yes, exactly. The, bar, uh, the, the, bar, is... the bartender slams his hands, hands on his, on the bar side. <laughs> hey, you snacks, drink, drink your drinks and get out and do your business before I have to do a nasty. Okay, but, but, but but look what I can do. And she puts the the beer on her head, and she starts dancing with the beer on her head. You want everybody to like chug down the rest of their water? Get Magpie to the chair wall. <laughs> Magpie grabs the Luma and runs. <laughs> hey, I hadn't finished my peanuts. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> She's like shaking him, trying to find a way to turn him back, like poking him, like <laughs> just it's like I'm gonna burn that book as soon as you're back into a Luma. This is getting ridiculous. But it's my I'm favorite a... book. Okay, I'm gonna try a thing, and then she pulls out the no more underpants and puts it on his head. If this works, I will die laughing. <laughs> if this works, I will die of embarrassment. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Give me Constitution safe. Oh, God. 
That would be... Uh, 17. Oh my god. For some oh. reason, according to everyone else, you are now back to being your usual feathered self. With the feather the oh, stuck hey. over your head. I feel oh. pretty. Uh. God! <laughs> Magpie just like reaches into his bag of holding, takes the book, puts it into her freaking paperwork satchel again and goes, if you even think about reading that book again, I'm going to turn you into a damn Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> I never think about reading the book. Welcome to the group. <laughs> oh, the power of the underpants! The Airways is just kidding. are just watching this from the door and just like... Yucky, are those Tedlins? Baby? Airways is just giving Ogresan such a death glare right now. Ogasan no. reaches into his bag of holding. <laughs> what? I'm holding him. I am taking your bag of holding at this right. You pull out your bag of normal beans. Oh. Or is it your normal beans? Shut. <laughs> Should I flip a coin to figure it out? Yes. No. Heads red, tails green. The elves trying to kill us. Alrighty. And it's working. <laughs> this was supposed to be we drive around in epic vehicles, but no, it's the DM kills the party through laughter and chaos. <laughs> that would be uh And secondhand tails. embarrassment. Tails. Yes. You got your yep. green bag. You got your It's a bag. shame that I don't have the colors listed for the bag of beans on this copy of the Why don't I have that listed? It's in the Discord sure. server loadout. Let's see here. Okay, it is the it is the regular beans. Um num num. So with that warning, where'd you go? Um, maybe I'm we assuming could... we gotta find the shiny kobold first. The kobold or the duchess? Well, I think what we could do is we could probably somewhat split the party since this isn't a dangerous area. This way we can I... get the information from two sources. Hmm. I feel you'll have to take Ko Okasan with you to the Shiny Kobold, because I don't think he'll resist commenting on the wart. That's what I'm thinking, too. So, let's see. Who would be best to talk to a duchess, and who would be best to talk to a crazy? Ooh, me, 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 me! I choose the duchess. I'm going with the duchess, too. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. I guess I'd better go see Kobold, then. <laughs> Yuki, which one are you going to? Okasan, you got the cobalt because you might spike his language, so to speak. <laughs> I think I'm gonna see that duchess. Okay, so uh, Shifros has to endure Okasan and the cob. I feel bad now. <laughs> it's... it's all in the other God be Shifros, God be. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Shifos and Magpie, give us basically uh, a d20 roll. Decide, Both of us? Yeah. Let's decide who's seen Goss first. Uh, between Magpie and Ernest? I got a. I got a nine, so not any better. Shifros? <laughs> Shifros got a. What, what was your vote? I got a five. Okay, we're going to do this first. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, what do we see as we approach her shop? Oh uh, yeah, you approach the shop. It's basically 
this person I was saying, being corrugated iron, but it's got this beady curtain in front of, front of the doorway. He's basically got his uh, up, up and all day late hours. And uh, wipe your feet. Magpie oh. wipes her feet because she's polite. Yuki wipes. Yeah, that was all four of her paws. <laughs> Or am I supposed to say, I didn't think we needed to, uh, carry that. So Yuki's definitely on two paws this time, instead of four. Yeah, play it safe, because sometimes you do have to go on two paws, on all four if you're Bach. And so you enter the place. For some reason, the building seems much bigger on the inside. It's lined with Lined with uh, the water lined with cells covered in potions of all sorts of sizes, bottle cut shapes and colours. And beyond the counter there's this hunched over figure with that darkest purple skin, wearing a pair of goggles on their head. They seem to have a pair of horns with a big scraggly Scraggly hair that sticks out with a long pointy nose with that forma formation of what? She's she's dressed fairly nicely for what you see in the locals. It's more case is not not a usual shade of brown. More they turn out in a shade of uh, shade of red. Oh, hello, dearies. You're new. Yeah. yeah. Um, hi. Howdy. Oh. Yuki bows. <laughs> Aramis waves awkwardly. It's always nice to see new faces. How may I help you? We're looking for the battle site of Wow, 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 or however our friend pronounced it. Is it the battle wow 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 or the battle wow 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 the first one I think what I think it's shorter Ah trust me you get used to this place sooner or later unless you tend intend to be away. We uh we're actually from an adventurer's guild and we have an assignment to get some uh, war machines for someone. Um, <coughs> name's Magpie. This is my friend Aramaeus and my friend Yuki. Charmed. Ah, uh, I, I can find find the bottle side for you, but it'll it'll cost you. How much? Lock of hair for the door for you. She gives you a grin. What do you need the lock of hair for? If I may be so bold to ask. Ah, no particular reasons. Magpie is looking at this woman like, excuse me? <laughs> Yugi just holds up her arms. I got enough for all three of them, so. I think she wants each of us to donate. Can I, like, do an insight oh. check? Because this is making me really uneasy. <laughs> yes. You know what? They want Aaron to stare at their face, like, I guess they are kind of uneven. I don't think this is a friendly haircut. 22. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think this character is? She is either a hag, a witch, or both. She's a hag. She's a night hag. She's a night hag. Yeah, um... And night hags are fae, right? Yep. Magpies gives like, you're dealing with a fight hunter, madam. <clears throat> so either you give us the information, because I know exactly what you are. I ain't giving you anything. Yuki, do not give her any of your fur. Except most of mine just sheds off anyway, so. <laughs> Don't shed it here! I can't exactly control that. Try! You notice it. Like, you notice his aim that's fall around, uh, fall around the Yuki with a dustpan and brush. 
Magpie grabs the brush. Not happening. This is what happens when I'm in hot weather. I mean, this is why I prefer colder climates. <laughs> I'm in the imp. Okay, okay, okay. You don't want to do the hair. You don't want to do the... Body won't do, want to do the fingernails. We all set gold. Gold I can do. We got plenty. How much? Five gold. That's it? Dang, the water was more expensive. Look, <laughs> you're, you're, you want a, a battle side between gnomes and goblins. We got dozens of those. And the one seems, yeah, the relics from Mono. From an old civilization, which Magpie knows all about because she read the book that that uh, Snark gave her. Lucky for you, I did my homework. Okay, just give me a, your paint. Yeah, she put the five gold down like immediately. Like that, that's not a personal item. It's just money, so she'll do that. The moment you look away, the, the money just disappears. She's just all that quick. She just. The hag just pulls out, a, the duchess pulls out a, an orb. She gives it a clean with a bit of a dirty rag and... And we switch over to the other party. I love the magpie was the one person, like, as soon as she said, a lock of your hair, she's like, no! <laughs> yeah. So, just to be clear, the only thing we need from this guy is the location. Yes. I just wanted to make sure because I heard the information, half remembered it, then hijinks happened. <laughs> involving locks of hair and Okosan turning into like five things. Yeah. yeah. Just fun things. Just just cute girl stuff featuring a non binary thing person people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we should go in back of tavern and look for her. The insane kobold is Devon Keeper put it. Okasan, you see you see anything out here? I see a lot of moose shaped metal. Do you know what the moose is? Yes! It is thing that Tavern Keeper is. You hear it from really the... that is not moose, right? You hear with the tavern I will end you! <laughs> <laughs> he is as much moose as you are kobold. What is a kobold? Stubby. No, Stubby is a stomper. He is also a kobold. He can be both. Really? Yes, really. Who told you this? <laughs> many, many peoples. Hmm. Suspicion. At any rate, let's see if we can find other insane little creature wearing metal. We want to find insane, insane stomper. Got it. Something similar to that, yes. We never did get actual name of this, did we? You did. His name's Tim. Yeah, yep. Right. Tim! Tim! Are you out here? So you enter the uh, scrapyard, you call in Tim's name, and there's a blaze of fire just above your heads. You, you see where it came from, and you see that sandy gold colored kobold dressed in rags, dressed in metal <laughs> from all manner of sources. <laughs> Some call me Tim. <laughs> Magpie, when she finds out this, dang it, I should have gone with you guys. Sounds cool. <laughs> and he's holding, holding some kind of staff made from. Bits of pipe and a candelabra on the end, which is with blazing fire. Who knows Tim's name? Who knows Tim's name? Yeah, we we'll go down here. Hi. Uh, how are you doing up there? What you want? What you want? To tell oh. you of the one true pudding. 
Uh, that would be what he wants. I want a little something different. But if you want to hear of one through pudding, he point, eh, who am I to stop you? He points the candle of a staff at Okasan. Cocks it. Do not want to know pudding. Tim wants to know reason they are here. How much, you you, how much do you know about battles between the gnomes and goblins and other various races that involve war machines? No locations, no many locations. Work with scrappers. Get the good metal. Good metal, yes. Best metal out there. <clears throat> Would you know where the battle of Wawawa is? The battle of Wawawa wa, 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 or the battle of Wawawa wa, 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 wa. The first one. Oh, the battle wah, 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 wah. I, I can possibly show you the way, show you the way. And what would you wish in exchange for this? Uh, what does Tim want? What does Tim want? Tim wants more scrap! We are likely to run into scrap on the way to the battle site. We give you full rights to any scrap you encounter. Tim says, you have deal, you have deal. Tim says, yes, 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 yes. Tim shows way, Tim shows way. Tim shows way to get that easy. This was much easier than I thought it would be. Huh. What do you do with the scrap? I, I collect. Collect I worship. I mend. I build. I do this. He slaps his hand down, down the newest bits of metal around him, and he just suits up, forming into a very rough version of armor that, that frankly, anthills look puts the same. I am scrap cobalt. We need the guitar riff for that. <laughs> Wang. <laughs> you know, I think this could be useful. Well, if if you do not mind, we could we would need to meet the rest of group, and then you could show us way. Yes, yes. I must go. Bring back. Won't leave scrapyard uncarded for long. Go, 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 shoot. Fair enough. I, I see this place is full of valuables that you must protect. Orgasan respects that. Tim just throws his prone on his, onto his scrap and... My scrap! My scrap! Fair enough. Anyway... Okasan, I like him. I we should... We go, I say we go meet the group and see how they fared. That, that seems like a good idea, and also see if we can find more scrap for that guy. So I guess maybe we... we tell him about... Maybe we tell him about Snark's tool room. So, as you leave the scrapyard, you can hear the, the pitter-patter of, of metal dropping on metal. You just presume it's his it armor just falling off. And uh, you find the, the Duchess's business abode as he's still going do 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 quietly to go do 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 Just as you two enter you notice the imp has got around a pair of scissors trying to get hair samples from everyone. Magpie is shooing it off like get no, son of a call your amp off please Night hags, my ass. Terry, <laughs> but... Terry, I told you, you do better. You get take care without being noticed. It's cold and clean. No, she like grabs the amp. Terry, you take one scrap of hair from any of us, and I'll rip your head off. <laughs> she drops the amp. Now yeah. then, that location, por favor. We're dealing with face shift, Ross. She's like looking at this woman. Magpie does not like this woman. She's mad as fuck. 
Air Maiden's a little scared. Hey, honey. Gotta be aggressive with him sometimes. <sighs> I pull... I pull my fake wig made out of, like, horse hair. It's got, you know, made out of horse hair. It's one of my costumes. Actually has a wig. And just kind of... Kind of, uh... Dangle it like a lure for the imp. Oh. Sure. It, you hear, a, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Do you look? No, because I'm keeping my eye on the wig. It taps on your shoulder some more. Okasan looks over Chief Ross's shoulder. I look over too. <laughs> you see this thing of the imp tapping your shoulder. Oh, he's just hovering on your on the other side. Just personally. Okasan will grab the imp. Me! Okasan is smarter than I thought. <laughs> I I dub you Kitty. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like this. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying to resist the urge just to cram it into my bag of holding. Why are you it, resisting? <laughs> then you kill it. It only kills it if you leave it in there for ten minutes. Do Do you think Okasan oh, will remember that it's in there? Do you really think Okasan <laughs> has the attention span to remember that his cat is in a bag? <laughs> we'll remind him. What are you going to do? Well, into the bag of holding it goes, apparently. <laughs> 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 oh, well, that's Okasan. He's special. <laughs> yeah. I have a cat now. <laughs> Don't forget about him. I'll remind you. And with that taken care of, I put the wig back. <laughs> Magpie's kind of snickering. <laughs> Anything to fuck with a fact. <laughs> it's because it wasn't intentional, it's just Okazan really is that dumb. <laughs> no, you hear me. Wait. Wait, who in this? Sorry, you. Sorry. The, the, the imp, Duchess was the imp, right? Just, no, just no. The, no, the imp worked for Duchess. Oh. Uh, it's your hearing come from the dust as it's all cases going eh, 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 eh. That's just bits of being coming out of the ear uh, orb. Ah, uh, oh, God, I need to change the ink on this thing. Terry! Where's the ink? Terry! Terry! Uh, Okazan, let the imp out. Uh, the cat out, please. I, I pull my cat out of the bag. God. Now everyone knows. The imp claws <laughs> your claws your face and legs it. That's a good kitty. <laughs> the duchess just rolls off the map. Slaps it into the hand of the nearest person. Magpie takes it, because she's the one who's been keeping a very close eye on the hag. Leave my, Thank imps, you, huh? leave my imps alone and get out. To be fair, again, Okazan really is that dumb. He actually did think that was a cat. So, uh... The party leaving a uh, little hot? That's not so Yep, little. as mm -hmm. fast as possible. Oh, the so now we be saying... Someday, Okasan will have a cat. We should have gone with the Cobalt. Cobalt was remarkably easy to deal with. So far. Lucky! <laughs> Cobalt Damn. only requested extra scrap for help. We had to pay five gold and that was ref And that was after I had to tell this woman that Hey, guess what? I know you're a damn fay. I ain't giving you hair and fingernails. Well, let's go. Let's go see Kobold. Kobold has more information for us. Yeah. 
Maybe we'll find Cat when we journey with Kim. It is possible. Um, I can't help but feel like the kobold was less weird than the duchess. <laughs> Me too. And uh, <laughs> this is where we bring this part of the session to a close. You uh, had to throw it a fay, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Are we gonna top this? I don't know. Let's it until the next time. Let's find out. Later, folks. We will. Yep. Bye. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.